In this video, I will show you how to create this frequently asked questions section with these expanding cards. Using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I will walk you through every line of code and show you how it's done. So let's get into it. So in my project folder, I have this HTML file with the boilerplate and I also changed the title, link to style sheet and the JavaScript file. Inside the style sheet, I reset the margin and padding, set the box sizing to border box, and you can select whatever font you like. And the JavaScript file is empty for now. Also, don't forget to open this file on the browser using Live Server. So for the icons, we are going to be using box icons. So before we start, let's link the box icons. You can find the link in the description to this website. Click on Usage. Scroll down just a little bit and copy and paste this inside the head and that is it. So we can start with the title which is going to be just frequently asked questions and right under this I will create a container and I will put the cards inside this container. Let's create a div with the class name frequently asked questions and this one is going to have the class of active. Let's create a h3 with the class name title. Inside I will be copy and pasting some text. Right under this h3 I will create a paragraph with the class name text. And finally we will have a button with the class name toggle. And inside we're going to add two buttons. So let's go up to box icons. First, I will add a arrow, which is going to be this one. After you click on the icon, click on font, copy and paste this inside. And we need another one, which is going to be the X icon. Click on this one, just like the other, click on font and copy and paste it inside. And that is it with the icons. We can close this website. So this is one card and we are going to have three more. So I will just copy and paste this. Also, I will delete the class of active. Only the first one is going to be active and using this active class, we are going to be expanding these cards. So this first card is going to be already expanded. Let's copy and paste it two more times. And we are done with the HTML. We have four cards. We have the title, the text, and the buttons. Next, we are going to style this. And finally, we are going to create the functionality, which is going to be just a couple of lines of JavaScript. First, I will select the body, set the minimum height to 100VH to make it cover the entire page. For the background color, I will copy and paste this color. If you want to use the same, just pause the video and type down the same. I will make this a flex container and change the flex direction to column to bring these container and h1 on top of each other and center everything using align item center and justify content center and put some gap between them i will select the h1 set the text color to white and increase the font size next select the container set the max width to 600 pixels we will make this one a flex container as well and change the flex direction to bring the cards stacked on top of each other and put some gap between them. Next, we will style the cards. I will set the background color to this white-ish color. Set some little border radius and some padding. 
and I will set the position to relative for this one because we are going to be positioning some elements inside this div relative to this parent div. Next, I will select the title and put some margin to the right because when the cards are minimized, the icons and the title will be side by side and we need some gap between them. Let's select the text, align the text on the left and I will put some margin to the top. So 2EM at the top, 0 on the sides and 0 at the bottom. And for now, we are not going to be displaying this text, so display none. And later, we are going to be using JavaScript to add this active class to this div. So we need to style that as well. So when this card gets the class of active, we are going to be displaying this text. So display is going to be block. And let's increase the font size of these icons. And for the buttons, I will set the position to absolute. And because we set the parent element of this toggle button, which is this div, we set its position to relative. And because of that, these buttons are going to be positioned relative to that parent element. I will make this one a flex container and align everything in the center. Increase the font size to 18 pixels. Set the height and width to 30 pixels. And I will bring this button to the top by 30 pixel and to the right by 30 pixel. I will use this nice purple color for the background and the icons are going to be white. I want this button to be a circle, so I will set the border radius to 50%. Delete the border, and when you hover over it, the cursor is going to be pointer, indicating that this is something clickable. And for the hover effect, let's create a transition to make it look more smooth. When you hover over it, we are going to make it just a little bit bigger using transform scale. So if you take a look at these buttons, we still have two icons side by side. So we want the X icon to appear when the card is expanded. So we can click on it and minimize it. And when the card is minimized like this, we want the arrow icon to be shown. So we can click on it and expand the card. So I will select the X icon, which is this one. And I will set it to display none. And when its parent element gets the class active, we are going to displaying it as a block level element. And let's do the same thing for the other button as well. Let's copy and paste it. and set the display to none. And finally, let's give the X icon a red background color. That is it with this styling. Only thing left is to make this work. So this is going to be really straightforward. The first thing we need to do is to bring this button into JavaScript. I will create a variable named toggles and I will access the document and using query selector all, I will get all the buttons with the class name frequently asked questions toggle. And using for each, I will create a function for each of the toggle buttons, which is going to be a event listener. An event listener is basically a function that listens for an event. In this case, it is going to be a click event. And this function takes two arguments. The first one, as I said, it's the event itself. And the second one is a function that is going to be executed when this event happens. So that means when you click on any of these toggle buttons, we are going to be executing this function. 
and inside the function we will access the parent element of this toggle button let's see what the parent element is this button is inside this div so i will add a class to it which is going to be the class of active but also we need to add this class as a toggle so if you click on this button once this class active is going to stay there until you click on it again let's see if it's working fine and it is working fine when you click on the button the card expands when you click on it again it minimizes the icon changes as well the background color changes and that is how we can create these expanding cards using html css and javascript i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for your time and i will see you next time